Hello my friends, this is Tom Krcha, Platform Evangelist at Adobe. Today we are going to talk about the basics of 3D and Flash. And we are going to use Alternativa 3D Platform Engine for this. So, we are going to basically render a plane. On top of that plane we are going to render a box. And then we are going to use the camera to actually look at a scene. And then we can rotate the camera around, or we can also rotate the box and so on. So to basically understand what are what do you have to do to actually display 3D scene in the flash. So what I'm gonna do here is that I create a new action script class. I just call it, for instance, like Alternativa Demo One, and the super class is going to be Sprite. So I've already imported the uh, Alternativa Swick library to the, to the project, so I don't have to do this. And we can start with programming. So first of all, you have to have some kind of container which contains all the objects. So we are going to use the object 3D container, and we are going to initialize it right here. Then we are going to add camera. So uh, camera is like one of the essential things uh, in 3D programming. You can have multiple cameras, but right now we're going to stick to just one camera 3D. And uh, then we're going to have some plane, which is just a plane. And we're going to give it some color. And on top of that plane, we are going to display some box. Super simple thing. So we also define some box. So what we're going to do here is that we start uh, working with camera. That means that we define the camera. We also define the camera view, which is the viewport, the area uh, in, the, in the actual display list, which is going to be used for displaying the 3D scene. And we're going to say we want a new view, which is going to be the same wide as the stage, and the same with uh, height stage height like that and we also going to add the camera view to the display list and we can also add camera diagram which contains the information about the memory usage uh, about how many triangles are we rendering and also what is the actual frames per second for uh, in the rendering so the next thing we're going to add here is uh, that we actually have to add the camera to the actual container. So we say container add child camera. And the camera is just another uh, 3D object, but it has these special, uh, special possibilities to actually look at uh, the 3D objects. So the next thing we do here is that we define plane. And the plane is going to be 1000 to 1000 and we're gonna say we want 10 to 10 segments and the next thing here is that we actually have to put some material on the on the plane so normally material can be just a texture it can be some uh, solid color it can be also some gradient and so on so right now we are just going to use some uh, fill material which is just a solid fill and for instance we are going to use just a gray color like that, with 70% 70, 70 alpha and line thickness 1. And then we are just going to add the plane to the container. OK. So right now we have the camera, we have the plane. But a problem when we actually run the, OK, so we are missing bracket here. and we just launched Alternativa Demo 1. And now we can see that there is nothing on the scene. Why is that? The problem here is that uh, we actually have to zoom out the camera. Because the camera is now, now on the same position as the plane, so 0, 0, 0. So we, what do we hear is that I just say camera Z and I say minus 500. So what it actually causes is uh, that uh, when you change the Z position of the camera, it will hover and you will see the plane from the top down, like uh, as an auto view. So um, the last thing we actually have to do here is that we have to render the camera like that. So when we run it right now, 
we can see that we have the plane. We are looking at a plane from top down and uh, we can see some kind of grid here. So the next thing we want to add here is box. So we create a new box. It might be 200 to 200 to 200 and uh, let's say two segments on each side. And we are uh, also going to give uh, the box some material. So let's say fill material and uh, red color. Alpha 1 and line thickness 1. And again, we're just going to add the box to the container like that. Yep. So when we run it right now, we can see that we have the plane, we have the box, which is lying on top of the plane, and that's basically it. But right now we, we see it as a 2D scene. So what do we have to do to actually see the actual box in the 3D? We have to take the camera and adjust the angle a little bit. So we're gonna rotate the camera on the, Z, uh, on the X axis to 45 degrees. But uh, when you're building 3D things, you're mostly uh, using radians instead of uh, degrees. So we have to multiply it by mod P divided by 180. So when we launch, we can see something like that. But we can't see the box. That means that we have to take the camera and go out a little bit on the Y axis. like that, for instance 500, and right now we can see the whole scene, we can see the box, and we can also see that uh, the box is actually being cut in the middle by the plane. So what we have to do also to make uh, these things uh, proper, that means that uh, we have the correct uh, z-sorting and so on, we ch have to change the container. Like that, and right now we can see that the box is uh, correctly cut in the middle, and half of the box is a uh, little bit uh, hidden, and the rest of the box is properly up. So the last thing you might want to add here is a uh, little rotation to the box. So what we're going to do here is that we add uh, event listener, event enter frame, on enter frame. And uh, here we just uh, say on enter frame event void, and we just re render the scene on every frame, and we also change the rotation over z axis, and we just add 0, 0, 005 like that. And when we launch it again, we can see that the cube is rotating around on every frame. So these are the super essentials uh, to 3D and uh, this basically shows you how you can build a simple scene, adjust the camera, adjust angles and rotate the cube and so on. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, go to my blog flashworldtime.com and uh, thank, you, thank you for watching.